As Christmas and Hanukkah celebrations come to a close, uh, I'm sure you agree. It's been kind of nice to take a break from the politics and the noise, the frustration and the insanity that surrounded us over this past year. Now, as we look ahead to the new year, we're reminded of the gravity of the challenges we face. We've talked about some of them tonight, and it's easy to feel hopeless when we think about that. What's most important to know is there is hope. Because as long as God exists, whose very essence is love, there is hope. And since God is eternal and will always exist, there will always be hope. God's love is the light within each of our hearts, and it's the answer to how we as a people, all children of God, no matter our background or our politics, can come together and heal our divides. Dr. Martin Luther King said, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Now, love is the most powerful thing. It's what we in Hawaii call aloha. It's love, respect, and compassion for one another. This aloha, this love, it's not just a feeling. It's not something that's weak or passive. It's a powerful force that motivates us to take action, to stand up for what's right, to fight for our freedom, and for those we love. It's what motivates my brothers and sisters in uniform and I to put our lives on the line to defend the security and freedom of the American people in this country. It's what gives us the courage to speak the truth, gives us the strength to fight for what's right, and the humility to forgive those who've wronged us, overcome our differences, and move forward. Now, life is short. None of us knows how much time we have, so as we head into this new year, it is an opportune time to reflect on this truth, our purpose in life, where we can find true happiness, and how we are making the most of every day. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.